Greetings, I the War Al greets you, and welcome to Quick Tips. The tip's so quick we didn't even show the intro. This time, I'm going to be showing you a simple, reproducible way to get the silo jump on DE Nuke. The silo jump is very easy to reproduce if you understand how it works. It works because of this pipe. This pipe is a model. That means it has two different things, what you see and the hitbox. This is done so that more detail can be added into the game without a performance drop. The hitbox is how your player interacts with the object. It's made up of polygons or shapes. It's invisible, which is why people have so much trouble with this jump. You are trying to jump onto an invisible ledge, or specifically, one invisible polygon. The hitbox for this pipe has multiple polygons slanting downward. One of these polygons is low enough so that your player can get on top of it from this ledge. It's angled a little bit from top left to bottom right. And it's angled also in a way so that your player can stand on top of it. This is what we're shooting for. To reach it, you need to do a running jump. You do not have to air strafe. You do not have to bunny hop. You do not have to otherwise manipulate the game to go faster. There is no glitch in this jump. You can gain speed by just pulling out your knife. You run faster with a knife. Everyone runs faster with a knife. Stand as far back as possible from this ledge and line up to the jump on the invisible hitbox of the pipe. To do this, strafe back and forth until the smaller pipe lines up with the bigger pipe in your vision. It doesn't matter where you aim vertically, but it helps to be able to see both how far you've run and how far it is until the pipe. Then, you just press and hold down W to run forward, and press spacebar to jump when you reach the edge of the ledge. This is where practice and timing comes into play. This is the only difficult part about this jump. It's the only part that takes skill. You need to time it so that the jump is as close as you can be to the edge of the ledge. Keep in mind, the player can hang over the edge a little bit, so you may need to jump a little bit later than you think. But wait, War Al, I'm just hitting the side and sliding down. And that's where crouching comes in. When you crouch and counter-strike while in mid-air, the player brings his legs up. This allows you to clear the pipe. If you don't crouch, your legs hit the side of the pipe. It doesn't matter when you crouch, just as long as you crouch after you've jumped. Don't believe me? Here's footage of me crouching directly after I jump. So you'll line it up, run, jump, crouch, question mark, question mark, question mark, profit. It's really easy. Remember to hold W and control until you're firmly on the pipe. I'm the War Owl, and I still- Fun fact! When I was recording the portion of the footage where I did the jump without crouching, I still made the jump, which means it is possible to do without crouching. However, there's no reason not to crouch because it makes it a lot easier. I'm the War Owl, and I still- have no closer.